Light that spark fire nation, JLD here, and welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network with great shows like Business Infrastructure. Today, we'll be focusing on a two-minute trick that will help you make the right business decision every single time to drop these value bombs. I have brought Julie Riesler into EO Fire Studios, Featured in Forbes, Julie is an expert transformation coach with a master's degree in coaching, and she's on the faculty of Georgetown. Julie's a best-selling author, two-time TEDx speaker, and founder of the Life Designer Coaching Certification Program. And today, Fire Nation will talk about the power of applying coaching and intuition, that two-minute trick to help you make the right biz decision every single time, and checking in with yourself, and so much more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Are you looking for a proven business coach who has helped thousands of entrepreneurs just like you to increase their profitability by an average of 104% per year, all for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee? Schedule your free consultation today with Clay Clark, a former Small Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year at thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. Feeling fatigued or having a lack of endurance can be a real drag, but with Super Beats Heart Shoes, you have a new way to start your day. And with free shipping and returns, a 90-day money-back guarantee, and a free 30-day supply with your first purchase, you have nothing to lose. Visit superbeats.com slash fire. Julie, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something that you believe about becoming successful that most people disagree with. Yes. Well, first of all, hello, Fire Nation. It's awesome to be here. I'm really grateful and excited. And I love this question. I was really, really thinking about this. And I think this goes a little bit against the grain. And it's it's really how I've led my entire business and career. And, you know, most of the times, I think when we start to get into what do we want to create and do, we get into our head, we start strategizing and planning goals and figuring out, you know, tactics and I'm going to take action items first on this. And then, you know, getting into that place of um, really being in the, in, in sort of that mind, that mind space. Um, and I have actually found that that should not be the first thing to do um, when you're starting a business, when you're starting a project, starting a whatever it is, a book, a podcast, you know, whatever you might be feeling on fire to do. Um, what I have found is that we have, and I, there's a lot of research and studies around our intelligence that comes from literally within uh, the heart, believe it or not. And it's also known as cart coherence. And so for me, the first thing, and my whole business was was created from this space of getting really quiet and just getting into a place of deeper intelligence that does not come from our mind from our head. And that comes from a greater wisdom. And I like to ask the question, you know, how do I want to serve in the biggest way? And just letting that, letting that be with that question, journaling, um, having a trusted advisor or coach or person to talk about it, but going from that place first, then going to the goals and what are you going to do? Um, we tend to just go, I know myself too, go right into, all right, this, these are the actions that you know, I have to take. And I think if you pause, what I have found is going into that space of deeper intelligence, of greater inner intuition, of knowing and of service and of your why and greater purpose, letting that be the anchor point, And then everything comes from there. Um, and I found if things are not aligned to that, then there have been there have been times, John, that I've literally um, ended a program, ended something because it just didn't feel like it was still in that alignment. So for me, it, it, it's really don't do the action items or the goals. Don't do any of that yet until you go first into a greater intelligence that, that I believe lies within each of us um, in a greater why and purpose. I do love that phrase, the greater wisdom, the greater intelligence. It does lie within us all, Fire Nation. And something that we actually talked a little bit about on your show recently was how you believe in the power of applying coaching and intuition. Can you talk about what you mean by this? One of the rare people, I got a master's degree in coaching, which I don't even know if there are many of us that do that, but I fell in love with this work. It changed my life. And I wanted to go and really study how 
how do you do this? What is the, what is the actual um, framework? What are the competencies? How do you coach? And I fell in love with this work. It, it is life changing. It changes your perspective. But something that I think is often missing is, you know, yes, there's a there's competencies and framework, and there's a way to help people really get to that greater intelligence. There's also tapping into your own greater intelligence, and the more you learn to trust that, practice really like getting what is it saying to you what what is it that that you're feeling you know energized by that's a really good place to start is your energy your your um you know feeling of excitement versus you know if you feel drained oftentimes it's not a place to start and so weaving in inner wisdom that intelligence that is within all of us that's that greater kind of higher knowing learning how to tap into that, use that, trust that with coaching. I mean, I have had miracles happen with many, many clients and then in my own life. And so together, the power of that is just very, 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 it's it's powerful beyond, I think, what um, most can understand because you're, you're not just asking deep questions. You're also tapping into something that's greater between you and the person you're working with or the group that you're working with, if it's group coaching. And I love going about the process like this Fire Nation and obviously something that I teased a little bit in the introduction and I just want to dive into right now is Julie's two-minute trick that's going to help us, Fire Nation, make the right business decision, not just once, but every single time. And I got to be honest, I'm about to purchase a pretty pricey NFT, Julie. So uh, I feel like I need to to know what this <laughs> trick is to make sure I'm making the right decision. So break it down okay. for us. <laughs> I love it. This is this is one of my favorite things to do. And I used to, I mean, I was in the camp, you know, years before where I was like, oh, no, 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 this can't really work. And I'm telling you something, you've, you've really got to try this yourself and you've got to practice it. And you've got to, I say, you know, keep evidence of, of, of what your body is saying. So what we're going to do is we're really tapping into this wisdom within our body, cellular intelligence. Um, there's a great book, The Body Keeps Score. It talks about we have intelligence in our cells, in our in our um, in our body, literally in a somatic way. And so a really quick thing that you can do is take the question, take the, if you're looking at a decision, um, ask yourself the decision. I would say first kind of get in a space where you can at least, you know, don't do this while you're necessarily driving, but when you can just have a minute to breathe, pause, get quiet, ask yourself whatever it is you are looking to do or purchase, or maybe it's um, to change, you know, something, pivot in your business or hire somebody. And you want to ask yourself the question, right? Is this for the highest good? Is this for my best um, and that of, you know, my company or whatever the question is? And just notice, just notice if you are leaning towards that or if you're leaning away. This is a very quick, powerful way to see what your body, the wisdom in your cells and your intelligence of your inner wisdom has has in mind for you. It's not in our head. It's it's a greater intelligence. So literally noticing, am I leaning forward? Am I leaning backwards? Um, even just slightly. And I mean, there's other ways of doing this, but this to me is one of the quickest ways. I have used this with so many clients and myself, and it is so powerful. Um, if you're sitting still and not moving, you might want to pause <laughs> and you might have a not sure yet. Um, but I know you're so good at this, John, like if it's not a full yes, you know, if you're not leaning a little, then it's a no or it's a not now. And the reason why, and I explained this a little bit when we chatted last time is when you say yes to one thing, Fire Nation, you're literally saying no to everything else that you could otherwise have been doing during that thing that you're having to, to fulfill now because of that yes, that time, that energy, that bandwidth, that financial, whatever that might be, commitments, you are now blocking all of that off. So you need to be very intentional and go through this process. I mean, come on, this is a two minute trick. So it's worth going through this to really feel this greater wisdom within. So is there anything else you want to add about this specific process, Julie, before we move on? Yeah. So the other piece that I would say, you, you definitely want to follow it up. And here's the piece. So 
you first want to get into that cellular intelligence. And I just, the body doesn't lie, right? So you notice, okay, that's one piece of data. Then I would get into what I call that inner wisdom journaling. And this is where you're going to ask yourself some of these really powerful open-ended questions um, so that you can really tap into, okay, now I got my, I got sort of that sense somatically. Now I'm going to ask myself, and here are some of the questions I think are really powerful that I know I've asked myself and others. Number one, will this choice propel me towards an inspiring future or will it keep me stuck in the past? So is it going to propel me or is it going to keep me stuck? Will this choice add to or rob me of my energy? We all know we only have a certain amount of energy. We're all made of this energy and you want to be sure that this is going to be life-giving, giving you energy. That is another question. And then I like to add what is for the for my best here, for my highest good and those that I'm here to impact. And you would just reflect stream of conscious, notice what's coming up. So now you're getting a little more data. You're doing this inner kind of wisdom journaling. And then, you know, again, just seeing is that connected or similar to what your body with that, with that leaning in, leaning out, sitting still, notice if there's any similarities. It's so powerful and it's a little different than just doing the SWOT analysis or pros and cons, even though that's great too. This is going to get a different form of intelligence. Fire Nation, I really hope you're understanding that this is a process to go through that we're going to actually be talking a little bit more coming later on in the interview when we really go into the checking in portion of this. But again, you're worth it. Your time, your energy, your thought process, making these decisions, this is worth it to check in with your greater wisdom, to check in with your greater intelligence. And we'll be diving in to so much more greatness when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Feeling fatigued or having a lack of endurance in the morning can be a real drag. And typically, we think more caffeine is the answer. But with Super Beats Heart Chews, you have a new way to start your day. All you have to do is add two delicious plant-based chews to your morning routine for heart-healthy energy throughout the day. What's unique about Super Beats Heart Chews is they combine non-GMO beetroot powder with a special ingredient, grape seed extract, which has been the focus of scientific research for years due to its high concentration of antioxidants. And some of the many benefits of grape seed extract are that it promotes heart healthy energy and normal blood pressure as a part of a healthy lifestyle. Join over 1 million customers and do what I did. Choose Super Beats Heart Chews for heart healthy energy today. Also, enjoy free shipping and returns, a 90-day money back guarantee. And right now you can get a free 30-day supply with your first purchase at superbeats.com slash fire. That's superbeats.com slash fire. Looking for a business coach who has helped thousands of entrepreneurs just like you to increase their profitability by an average of 104% per year, all for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee? Fire Nation, meet Clay Clark. Clay has been coaching businesses just like yours since 2006. Yep, even through the Great Recession. And he does it for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee. At a time when Inc. Magazine reports that by default, 96% of businesses will fail within 10 years, Clay is helping businesses like yours to grow on average by 104% annually. How's this even possible? Clay only takes on 160 clients, so he personally designs your business plans. Plus, Clay's team helps you execute that plan with access to graphic designers, Google certified search engine optimizers, web developers, online ad managers, videographers, workflow mappers, and accounting coaches. Visit thrivetimeshow.com slash fire to see thousands of video testimonials from real people just like you who Clay has helped over the years. That's right. Do your research and view thousands, not hundreds, of proven, documented, and archived video testimonials from real people just like you at thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. Then schedule your free consultation with Clay himself to see how he and his team can help you thrive. So Julie, we're back. And as I kind of teased before the break, you believe in checking in with yourself. I want to really dive into what this means. I mean, I feel like we've been talking about this in general, but I really want to go specific so Fire Nation can understand what you mean by this and how we do it. It's a really good question. I think this is really important to understand. Um, First of all, there's so much information and content and opinions and ideas out there, which can be great, can also be overwhelming, can cause a lot of confusion, can really keep us from going within and accessing 
you know, actual intelligence that is not just the logic that lives within our mind and our brain. And of course, that is important too. Um, you know, I've I've done some work, for example, with uh, the organization HeartMath, and they've studied, they've done peer-reviewed studies and and um, scientific, uh, you know, studies around literally this intelligence that is um, that lives within that is lives within our heart. They they have found that we have over 40,000 sensory neurons wow. in our heart, just like we know the gut is kind of considered a second brain. Right. We also have something very similar within our heart. And what they've found is that information actually comes in first and it is processed through the heart. Then it moves up to your head, your mind, your head, your brain, and into your gut and other um parts of your body and then it comes back to the heart. So there's something very real here. And I I just, you know, I know for me, I for so many years would kind of go out first before checking in with myself. And it can be exhausting and overwhelming to get a lot of different opinions. And truly what I found just in my own experience and then the work that I'm doing is, you know, we all are walking around with this like crazy, incredible intelligence that is not just found in the logical mind. And it's worth it when you get quiet, like you said, we're all worth it. And anyone that's listening, I mean, I know you're, you know, Fire Nation community is big hearted, like badass (laughs) entrepreneurs that want to make a big impact. And I just, I've seen it, the way to really tune into how you can make a bigger impact, how you can step forward, how you can be adding, you know, um, be of greater service uh, in this planet, that information, it comes from a place that is really deeper um, and part of that inner wisdom, part of that heart intelligence. And so having done some of that work, using it, being trained in it, and then learning about it. Um, the other thing is you create what's called heart coherence. And that is there. there's an actual heart rate variability. You can get into heart rate coherence and you can do this with your mind. You can sync your mind and your heart through stillness, through some of those questions I asked, journaling, through coming, you know, getting still and kind of giving yourself a moment to, to go within. Um, so I always love that you know, finding the data, finding the science to back it up. And, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's not saying we don't want to use logic that we just using that to kind of follow tapping into that, that greater intelligence. So Fire Nation, we've talked about the greater wisdom. We've talked about the two minute trick, you know, the leaning in, leaning away, really checking in with your heart, your gut, your intuition. We talked about checking in with yourself, what do you really want Fire Nation to get from everything that we shared? I mean, I really feel like we've been super strong on this theme the entire episode, but let's just take a minute here. Let's sum it up. Like, what is Fire Nation missing? Like, is there a missing ingredient that's going to tie everything that we talked about together? If so, what is that? You had said this earlier and it really struck a chord. Number one, Everybody, no matter where you are in the journey, you're worthy. You have a message. You have something important to do and to express here. Um, And when you learn how to really be still, to tap into your inner wisdom, the other thing that if if you were paying attention or noticing the questions I had asked, those are powerful questions that are often part of, you know, coaching. And when you learn how to do that yourself, while it's still great to have a coach, when you learn how to use those powerful questions with yourself, on yourself, um, you can learn to really, to see what is happening from a different lens, from a different awareness. It's almost like um, you can get out of your own way, get out of doubt. I think many of us I know I have struggled with 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 self doubt sure. and wondering, am I doing the right thing? And so, to me, being able to be confident and to be connected to your your purpose, to what you're hoping to do here in your in your business, with your passion, with your goals, getting that you can tap into something greater. It, it's one of the biggest gifts. No one can take that away from you, and it's also something you can't really. By. You have to practice it. You, you cultivate it from within. But I found when you practice that, you know, asking yourself, noticing, are you leaning in? Are you leaning away? Asking these powerful questions, learning to ask these kinds of questions of yourself, it also takes you out of the that that space of feeling overwhelmed and doubtful, and it can take you more into curiosity. Um, and 
you know, curiosity is one of the best places we can be in because then we get open to possibilities. So a part of this is really being open, being curious, asking those questions and learning how to trust and and really allow this guidance within you. Um, I see it like we're all walking around with this treasure box and most of the times we're not tapping into it. And especially for, for anyone listening and who you know, wants to make that kind of impact, you have it. You know, I really believe we all have that within. It just takes some time. You know, it's not necessarily going to happen overnight, but if you practice, if you keep a journal and you write down the evidence, okay, you know, for you, you were saying, I'm thinking of purchasing uh, <laughs> NFT. You know, and notice what does your body say? Then keep track of it. I have a journal. I write all of this down. I have so much data. And then what happens is it's like, oh yeah, you know, this works. This inner guidance, this is not... This is not woo and airy fairy. It can sound it. It's not. It becomes your secret weapon. And that's what I've seen. It's like you can hear of all these great ideas, but in the end, really like trusting yourself, trusting that guidance, it's it's going to help you in ways you can't even believe. We're all walking around with a treasure box, but Fire Nation, very few people are actually tapping into that. I think it's a really powerful concept to understand that you have that treasure box within time to start tapping into it. So for those people who are drawn to what we've talked about today, Julie, give us some details about your coaching certification program, how we can connect with you, and then we'll say goodbye. I always say I'm certifiably certified of a lot of certifications and I <laughs> I just I have a little addiction with them and I was um, coaching with an incredible coach years ago in a personal development program. I fell in love with it. It changed my life. He asked me one question that literally shifted my life and helped me to redesign it. And I realized, holy crap, we have the key to design our life the way we want to, to open that treasure box. And how many of us are not doing that? And literally I, I, you know, ended up, um, for me, it meant leaving a marriage that didn't work very graciously. I had two young kids. It was not an easy thing to do. I left my day job with cushy benefits, um, to start my own business, which was the best thing I could do. Um, helped me to tap into when I was having a health crisis, just working with a coach changed my life. And I decided to go back and I got my master's degree in coaching and started to use it, you know, with companies, with teams, with individuals. I um, still, on the side, I teach it at Georgetown University. I just fell in love with this work because it it, it literally, you know, I, I call it, it, it really to me is, is, is miracle work. Miracles are a shift in perspective. And it's all about shifting your perspective. That's what you're doing. You're shifting your perspective and you are changing habits that don't serve. You're helping yourself to break the, you know, the beliefs that have absolutely no need to have power over you. And that all leads to transformation. So the first thing I did was actually, I thought, you know, I'm a coach, but I'm really helping people to design their life. And I trademarked life designer, had no idea why the heck I was doing that. It was the first thing I paid for, John, like it made no sense. <laughs> um, I hired a lawyer. I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but let's just trademark this thing. He's like, okay, <laughs> that's random. And I'll tell you, I thought about starting a certification for a long time. I've been teaching it. I've been coaching for over 10 years. I love this work. I always have a coach myself. And at the rise of the pandemic, the beginning of it, I woke up and my higher, my inner guidance just said, uh, like, knock, knock, Julie, it's time. You need to start this. And, you know, you had actually said this in the interview a couple of days ago. It's like, okay, the perfectionist side of me was like, oh gosh, how do I do that? Mm. And I'm like, no, it's not about perfect. It's about starting this and getting something together. And I, I luckily had a lot of experience um, teaching coaching, but what I was not able to do was to add in, you know, the mind-body science that I had learned in my degree and the healing arts and positive psychology and body wisdom and heart intelligence. So I created the Life Designer Coaching Certification and, um it is literally, I mean, I've had babies and I'll tell you this, first of all, this is way easier. <laughs> Thank God it does not keep me up at night and I don't have to breastfeed it, <laughs> but it feels like my third baby. Um, I'm in love with this program. We have already had, we're on to our fifth cohort, almost 40 graduates. And 
it's just everyone who's gone through it has said it's transformative on every level. Um, you get the experience of both learning how to coach, there's a practicum, and you get to be coached. And I just, I'm in love with it. I'm infusing and, and teaching both the fundamentals of coaching. Um, I have my own framework, but I also bring in, and I really teach how to learn to tune in what we were talking about, your body wisdom. You know, what is what is it that uh, your inner guidance, your intuition is telling you? How do you use that both with coaching and also in your life? Um, and it's just been, it's been an incredibly powerful experience for me. And um, I had no, I mean, not that I would wish the pandemic on anyone. I just, my gratitude is it's really helped many people to become really, you know, really powerful coaches and, and to add transformation, especially when so many people are anxious and struggling, not all, but some are right now. Um, so it's been a, it's been a, it's been a pleasure and a gift for me. And I'm glad I did not hide behind perfectionism. I'm still moved by your Mm. thoughts about that. (laughs) Um, it's just, it keeps you stuck and it keeps you, as you said, in that cowardice place. So, um, it's, it's a beautiful program. It's really, really one of my favorite things I've ever offered. Well, I love that. How can Fire Nation learn more and check it out? I have a little gift for everyone if they are interested. I have, um, my second book, which is, we do use my book, Get a PhD in You, and I have the Get a PhD in You business edition. And I just thought that would be helpful for anyone listening who's like, yeah, I'd like to kind of have a little more self-awareness and really hone in on my my why, my strengths, my gifts, and use that in a more powerful way. And so um, we have that at julieriesler.com slash fire. julieriesler.com slash fire. And that's R E I S. L E R. And of course, we'll have that linked up in the show notes page. But before we do sign off, Julie, anything else you want to share with Fire Nation? First of all, thank you. This has just been, it's been such a joy and so fun. I'm leaning in, I'm laughing because the whole time I feel like I'm kissing my screen and I'm like, oh my yes. God, I'm definitely into this interview. <laughs> like that's the thing when you start to like really tune in, it's like really into this right now. Like I'm leaning in, like notice everyone, when are you leaning in? That is a really good sign because your body won't lie. Um, and that's the thing, just trust yourself. Take, you know, you're worth the time. Get the data, keep track, ask yourself these questions just practice with it. Find accountability people within this community. Like just, you know, there's, there's so many, there's so much intelligence and gifts within each of us. And, um, and I just, I really believe that the answer to uplifting our, you know, our planet and comes through entrepreneurs and comes through leaning in and opening your treasure box. And again, I'm laughing because I am like almost to the screen here. So that's how much I've enjoyed it. And hopefully I still, Sound okay, but I I will say this has been um, so much fun and I I love what you're doing and I love that you're serving so many badass entrepreneurs and I I just hope this was impactful and uh, honored to be here. Thanks for that, Julie. And I really hope, Fire Nation, you walk away with this, that you are being aware of those times that you're leaning in because those are times that you want to make more of for obvious reasons. And you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You've been hanging out with JR and JLD today, so keep up the heat and head over to eofire.com, type Julie, J-U-L-I-E in the search bar, and her show notes page will pop up with everything we've talked about here today. Of course, your call to action, Fire Nation, juliereesler.com slash fire, R-E-I-S-L-E-R. You'll get that link in the show notes page as well. Julie, thank you for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation, today's value bomb content was brought to you by Julie and Fire Nation. The idea to store contest by dot store domains is live. You have the chance to win cash prizes up to $30,000 for sharing your online store ideas. Learn more at www.idea2.store. That's www.ideato dot store and I'll catch you there or I'll catch you on the flip side. Are you looking for a proven business coach who has helped thousands of entrepreneurs just like you to increase their profitability by an average of 104% per year, all for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee? Schedule your free consultation today with Clay Clark, a former Small Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year at thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. 
Feeling fatigued or having a lack of endurance can be a real drag, but with Super Beats Heart Shoes, you have a new way to start your day. And with free shipping and returns, a 90-day money-back guarantee, and a free 30-day supply with your first purchase, you have nothing to lose. Visit superbeats.com slash fire. 